I try to use the observation. Um, um, but I'm not sure it's a problem. Um, it just seems like. As you as you look around the room, yeah. you have to basically. You, okay, you have this. You have this egocentric uh, uh, direction and distance to the thing you're sensing, to the child object yeah. you're sensing. You turn. You you have a different egocentric direction and distance. Um, the now these are going to be necessary to convert those into um, into whatever parent object centric, whatever you want to call it. Converting those so they're not egocentric requires knowing these. And I think you're going to run into an equivalent problem there. Uh, well, are you saying it's not solvable? Uh, I'm saying we're creating a problem by making the, these specific to environments rather than having them be determined by some heuristic, some find the general axis of the room and use that as your orientation. Oh, I see. Uh, uh, I see what you're saying. But even finding the, it's interesting, even finding the general axis of the room sort of implies that I recognize the room. It's like I've come to this idea that the parent object or the general axis for that object is something I also have to recognize. It's just it's just the biggest thing around. It's the biggest thing around that I can recognize. And then I say, oh, okay, well, that's how I'm gonna use that as my parent. I'm gonna use that as my it's almost like it's the problem that begets itself. It's like I can't figure out the general axis until I figure out the environment. And then recognize the environment, I it's not just so it's like I recognize, you know, it's it's sort of going back to the the, the issue I showed yesterday with the or the other day with the chairs like this or like the rug, you know, what's the difference in a rug? Well, the rug is just the biggest thing, and, and everything else is relative. But it's still it's like one. It's like there's four objects here: the, the, the rug, and the three pieces of furniture. And why do I pick this one? Is this big? But I still got to recognize it. So it's like I have to recognize the rug before I can say other things are relative. <laughs> So I'm not sure there's a chicken and egg problem here. I'm not, I'm not convinced that I walk into some space and I say, what's the longest dimension? It just doesn't feel like that. It feels like, oh, I recognize this big thing and now I can say that's my, the biggest thing I'm gonna use for a reference point. Well, I'm gonna try experimenting with this idea of, I'm not sure it's gonna work at all with that. I'm gonna try experimenting with the idea of thinking more about the idea of like, uh, grid cells models modules not repeating and it work, a simpler version of them that doesn't repeat within the environment and, and work with that for a while um, and see if that solves problems. Um, um, we've always drawn it as you know these cells are firing here, 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 and here, 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 and here, 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 here. But in reality, we, the original ad experiment says that oh, but that's not what it was like. <laughs> you know, they didn't see it because the, the next firing field was over here. <laughs> It was, it was O'Keefe who said that, right? O'Keefe said, well, I, really, oh, I could have found good cells. I just didn't think about making the big room bigger. He had a quote. I think multiple people said that. Um, O'Keefe, O'Keefe was particularly funny. He said that um, he, he, incurred, he discouraged his grad students, I think his grad students, from recording from entorhinal cortex because he thinks it's there just to keep the hippocampus warm. <laughs> I heard that one. He I did. To be funny about I, I did see a quote from him where he seemed to be kind of oddly lamenting that he didn't discover grid cells. Yeah. Um, you know, like I don't want to share the glory with the Moses. <laughs> I don't know. What, I don't know what that was, but it felt like that. But you know, it's like, geez, you know, if we only made the room, you know, if we only made the room bigger, we would have seen them. But we never thought of that. You know, <laughs> um, that's what I remember him saying, something like that. Um, So you know, and then we focus on that repetition. That's what we focused on it over and over again. We've been assuming that's happening a lot in the environment. But um, I'm going to I'm going to think about it from the other direction as if it's not happening, and um, try to understand that, and then say, well, how would it fail when it starts to happen? That is a different answer, a different question. I don't think that's right anyway, because it's all this stuff, this weird things going on. We just don't understand. We don't know how to make the 3D. Uh, we don't know how to make the, you know, we're still trying to figure out how to do the orientation in 3D. So I think we're a long way from solving this problem, but that, that's an interesting way to think about it for a bit, see if I come up with some other situations. Um, that might be the time to call the end to this thing.
My wife, excuse me. Are we done? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, sure. Hey there. Okay, we were, we were still on our okay, oh, see good opportunity to stop it. <laughs> it's okay. We were kind of on some drugs. I just couldn't stop talking. Anyway. Okay. Back to me. I got to turn this stuff off here. All right, ending the meeting, parking the robot. Okay. All right, so that was a research meeting. Um, thanks for hanging in there. Might as well do this. Does this work? It does. <clears throat> um, if you hang around long enough, I will gift you a subscription um, like I did. Uh, Here's the credits. <laughs> it's empty because the stream died. My internet connection died right in the middle of that. So there's no credits. Although I did have a, a couple follows and a subscription. Uh, I, I, I uh, gifted a subscription to the Glory Cannon because I've seen that person around for a while. So if you stick around and you keep watching and you chat and you participate, I will um, I'll gift you a subscription. Uh, in any case, thanks for, for watching the Minta Research Meeting. I'll, um, let's see. Let's, I'll find somebody to send you guys to, just a minute here. Okay, does this work? I like this website, it's called, somebody on Twitch made this. It shows the currently code, the people coding on on Twitch, it's called belly.io. So here it is. Um, and it's a lot of people I follow on Twitch show up here and it shows them sorted by how long they've been streaming. So mine's wrong, obviously, because mine's like six minutes now. Um, let's go visit, is anyone, any science? These are all like programming. I wonder if there's any science following. Categories, science. I don't, not that programming is not science, but it's not necessarily hard science. A lot of people just growing cannabis and you get to watch a cam of cannabis. Why would you watch a stream of plants growing? That seems so boring. Uh, let's go Let's go see Clark IO. I like Clark IO. Unless anyone has any suggestions, it doesn't look like it. So let's do that. Read Clark IO. Here we come, Clark. Remember to um, use the the Ryolite, the Ryo Brain emote when you get there, just to let them know where you came from. Thanks, everybody. Take care. See you uh, Monday. Monday will probably be a research meeting, and I will do. We'll get started on spatial pooling stuff. BHTMS.